physical offensive line that's led by Joe Toledo. He's back and healthy and made a difference last week in their win in Tucson. Sims will get the call and the carry, but he's stuck by Aaron Johnson and also by Amu. Stand back, play action pass. He flips it off to the right side, but he did have a receiver in the area. That was Russo, but stand back, obviously, just trying to get rid of it as he was pressured from the interior. Defensive tackle Aaron Johnson. And not much. Matter of fact, they will lose two yards in the play. And it was Will Dirting, the middle linebacker, who is the senior. Scott Davis also helping out number 42, but there's Dirting from Okanagan, Washington. Well, you see the Huskies trying to run the power play. You see the big tackle trying to come around and make a block. When Will Dirting says nothing doing, he reads the play in a hurry, meets the back in the hole. And anytime you see the pull, if you can beat that offensive lineman to the hole, you're going to win every time. Will Dirting does a great deal. Brink with plenty of time. And he'll get the first down at the 45 yard line to Jason Hill. Washington State sticking right with the script. You come out early, you're running with Harrison, and then you go, and then you go right back to your money maker. Jason Hill beats man-on-man -man coverage. Anytime you can get him matched up one-on-one -on -one with a corner or a safety, look for Brink to go that way. He's a dynamic receiver. The Huskies gonna have to do a better job of bumping his first offensive possession. Third and nine for Alex Brink. First down, though, Jason Hill to the 30-yard line. The Huskies rushing forward, dropping seven. You watch the game to the right side, a little ET game. It gets split. That gives Brinks a nice window to throw to, and anytime he can get a full view of Jason Hill, he's going to hit that zone every time. He is dangerous when he's in the open field. Receivers to the right, two to the left. Jason Hill is in the slot. Blitz on. Brink with time. Going deep. Touchdown Cougars. Greg Prater. Going right back at it. They saw they found a weakness. They're going right back at it, throwing to the left side. Man for man coverage. Gets beat on the double move right to the corner of the end zone, just the way you draw it up, just the way you practice it. Touchdown, Cougars. Boy, they really attacked. And twice on third and long, they came through and got a first down and then a touchdown. So it's. We in the nation. <laughs> when the season began, I thought Texas was better than Oklahoma. And you and I have seen USC a lot. Oh, yeah. Here is Brink. Almost. It is caught by Jordan. I thought it was going to be intercepted, but it was tipped right into the hands of Chris Jordan for a first down for the Cougars. Just a heartbreak of a play for C.J. Wallace. Does a great job. Looks like he just mistimes his jump. But this is what Brink does so well, or what he has been doing well as of late. Moving in the pocket, buying himself some time. Throws a pass. CJ Wallace has a beat on it. Mistimes his jump. Great job coming down with the football, Chris Jordan. Keeps the drive alive. That's one you got to have if you're the Huskies defense. You need those big plays. Instead of a first down for the Huskies, it's a first down for the Cougars in the red zone now at the 22 yard line and there is C.J. Wallace who is second on the team in tackles but still does not have an interception this year and that was the big key last year the Huskies their quarterbacks were picked off three times Brink was not intercepted and he led his team to a victory last year Cougars broke a six game losing streak to the Huskies to post a 28-25 win. And you watch, he's in the air. You see C.J. Wallace coming over. Does he have it? I think he has it. That's good in the NFL. Two feet in. Crowd on their feet here at Husky Stadium. Alex Brink back to throw. Seven for 11 in the first half. Scrambling away past the 20, past the 15. First down, Cougars inside the 10-yard line.
Last night in our production meetings, we talked about Alex Brink and his running ability. You see the game up front. Now watch it just open up. There's no middle linebacker with four wide receivers in the middle. He's going to have to turn his back and pick up the inside receiver. To detail, Tyrone Willingham. They've got stand back out at wide receiver, and the quarterback is Casey Paws, who throws in the football, and Isaiah with the catch, but a very short game. Now, stand back played wide receiver his first two years for the Huskies, then moved back to the position he wanted to play, where he's successful in high school at Garfield, the quarterback spot. So, Paws now will stay in. Well, it's an interesting situation. Your best athlete on the field happens to be the quarterback. Well, if you want to get the ball to back off, they stay up. It's going to be tough to fool them. If you're the Huskies, you're just going to have to take a shot deep to get some respect from these corners. Third and 12. Shackleford who scored the touchdown wide left. Stand back, looking to escape, in trouble, throws it away. Will Dirty came on a blitz and just destroyed the running back. And it looked like it just scared Isaiah Standback. He didn't know what to do. His running back got crushed right in front of him. Well, look at Rob Akey. Oh, excited. Fired up. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the former defensive coordinator, now the head coach, Bill Doba. He's excited. They need to get to the 46 for a first down. Harrison gets it. Slips away. And look at this. Instead of one, he's got the first down and hold down inside the 25. why he's so dangerous it's going to take more than one guy to bring him down you watch it up front zone blocking all the way you see they cut the backside in and the safety who comes down and has to fill he has to keep his feet but against Harrison it's going to be tough he's a jitterbug type running back you watch him make his moves he's setting you up three moves ahead he's an excellent running back great he led the Cougars to that 28 25 victory last year Alex Brink Threw for two touchdowns. He also ran for one, and they held off the Huskies' rally late because Standback came off the bench and almost pulled the upset. The old record, J.J. Harrington of California with his 12, and here goes Harrison. Well, he, it's not going to be long before he has another 100-yard game in just the first half. Well, this is his running style. It looks like he stopped. The Husky defenders may relax a little bit, and then boom, he's through the hole. There goes Benjamin again coming with the zone blitz. Husky's doing a great job of stacking it up, but one thing they forgot to do was tackle the ball carrier. Out goes Harrison, gains the first down. Look at that hole. Just blows the side away. When you're playing against a guy like Harrison, it's the Barry Sanders rule. you got to get 11 anyone that we've seen in the Pac-10. He broke Reuben May's single-season rushing record last week. Now over 1,700 yards rushing. Rick fires, first down, Cody Boyd to the 33-yard line. There's your mismatch again. The Huskies doing the, the zone blitz package. You see Grayson Gunheim, he has the tight end. It's deception. You put his hand on the ground, you make the quarterback think he's coming, and then he drops late to pick up the tight end. But Cut jersey in the snow, are you out of your mind? Here goes Harrison. He's got the first down, and Jerome to midfield and pass to the 46-yard line. Watch the patience on this run. He's so smooth going around the corner. You watch the block here. Down block, down block. Watch the seal here. Bang. Gets it down. He cuts it outside of his block and just scoots on down the field. That's the power game. Washington could run the option. And they will, but the Cougars read it. And they drop stand back for a five-yard loss. This is what we're talking about with lane integrity. They run the blitz. They fill up the A-gap. It's imperative that the ends come up the field and build a wall right there. Build a wall so he can't get out. Great job by the defensive ends, keeping him in the pocket. That's how you play people like Michael Vick. That's how you play people like... Uh, what's the quarterback in, in New Orleans? Aaron Brooks. Aaron Brooks, the same way. The scrambling quarterbacks, you have to get upfield, build a wall. Four-man rush. 
He loops it downfield, and Cody Boyd at that six boy feet eight high. makes a terrific catch and gets the Cougars first down. We're watching the play unfold. Alex Brink does a great job of buying time. You see the pass rush, the game by the Huskies. He gets it out. Now watch this. Up, taps the feet. Excellent. We're watching this play. We thought it had 20 pounds of him. Boyd for the first down to the 35-yard line. Boy, they've got to Cody a lot on big third down plays. Boy, he has been a weapon for them. When you keep two safeties covering the receivers out to the flats, your one-on-one -on -one is on your tight end, and Cody Boyd doing a great job of design. Jason Hill alone on the left. Brink back, looking for Boyd, and Boyd has it. First down, 41-yard line. Boy, he's having one of the best games of his career. And that is it. That was his fifth catch. Fifth catch of the game, and that ties his career high at five against USC as a freshman. This time they put C.J. Wallace on Boyd, trying to put a better athlete on the tight end. He runs the same route that beat Scott White. A minute 30 left. Harvey down the sideline. Look at this. He's gone. Washington State. They have reclaimed the lead. And Alex Brink hitting Trandon Harvey, just trying to get the first down, but a great block, and Harvey home free. Bubble screen in the slot. Watch Brink, guns it out right now. Now, Matthew Fontaine's got to make this play. It's his man in coverage. The X receiver, the receiver on the line of scrimmage, comes up, cuts the corner, gets him on the ground. There's no one left. They were up 14 in the game. Had a shot to win the game or were playing well, and then USC just kind of took over second half. Do what they do. 114 left. Stand back in trouble. Escapes left from behind. Braidwood pulls him down. No game. And the clock ticking. Give levels. A short and intermediate route. Therese look to the right side. Stand back. Down fourth and ten. Cougars defense stepping up. Well, our defensive player of the game is Evan Benjamin. Look at that. 14 tackles, two for loss. He was the Pac-10 defensive player of the week for a stunning performance last week against Arizona. But right now, it's his offense that he needs. Jerome Harrison, offensive player of the game, with 207 yards rushing. Stand back, fourth and ten. Downfield he goes. Incomplete, and the Cougars have it. Seasons for the first time since 1982-83. Well, you hate to see this at the very end, and that's why. Bill Dova, Tyro, and Willingham got right in there and separated some guys. A lot of guys are just breaking it up, but the celebration.